All right guys, so I'm actually gonna start on skin first. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin first using the Tatcha water cream. I have been using this for a hot minute now and I really, really like using it underneath makeup. Like everything just glides on on top and this is literally water. Like you need the smallest amount of this. I put way too much on. Usually I just put like a dot on my cheeks and then that kind of allows me to moisturize my entire face because it is so watery. It's just, it's such a good moisturizer. Also, if you guys didn't know, you can now grab Tatcha products at Mecca. Um, so I will have the Mecca website linked down below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. So if you're in Australia and you want Tatcha, you can get it. So the lashes that I wanted to kind of base today's look around was the Bikay Beauty, of course, Stephanie Lash. Now these are the most natural lashes out of the collection. And here's what they look like here. So they do give a little bit of flair. They're really nice and natural looking. So I want to kind of do a no makeup makeup look, but then putting a lash on. <laughs> I also do plan on filming a makeup for people who wear glasses video because I know that there are some people who wear glasses and they don't know what, like how to do their eyeshadow, etc. So I'm gonna do that soon. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. I'm just gonna do one dot over each eye because we don't want this to look too made up or cakey or anything like that. We still kind of want to see your skin underneath showing through. That's the whole point of a natural makeup look. All right, so once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and grab some translucent loose powder. This is the RCMA no color powder, but I've depotted it into a different container. And I'm just going to use this and run it straight through my crease because any eyeshadow work that we do is usually in the crease. Yes. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is grab a matte bronzer. No shimmer, no sparkle, no nothing. I'm going to grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Saddle Powder Bronzer. These are brand new. Grabbing that same exact brush, dipping in a couple times, tapping off any excess, and I'm just going to run this with windscreen wiper motions through the crease of my eye. This is just gonna add some more definition to the eye, nothing too crazy. I'm actually gonna go in with my Umreezy Anastasia Beverly Hills Umreezy Highlighter, and I'm gonna take that with my finger, okay? And I'm just gonna dab that straight over the lid. This is one of my favorite tricks to do guys because you don't need a shimmery shimmery eyeshadow. If you have like a really shimmery highlighter or a really shimmery bronzer, you can just use that as eyeshadow, honestly. Okay, so now's the time where you want to apply your mascara, your eyeliner. I don't usually wear eyeliner on an everyday basis, so I'll just pop on some mascara and curl my lashes. Honestly, just I used to never like curl my lashes, but I feel like honestly I cannot do mascara without curling my lashes now because it just makes them look so much bigger and thicker and it just makes everything look cohesive. Then for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I haven't used this in a hot minute. You guys know this is one of my favorites though and I really, really liked the curved one. That way it really makes sure that you get a really good curl and a really good lift to your lashes. It's time for lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Stephanie lashes. Now, if you guys need to see a video on how to apply lashes, I will leave that link down below so you guys can go and check it out. It's like a step-by-step -step routine. It's so easy. So you wanna grab your lashes, your lash glue, your applicators. These will be coming soon. And once you pop the glue on the lash bed, you wanna let it sit, you wanna let it get tacky. You'll be able to tell when it's ready to put on when it starts to get blue or translucent. Usually if I'm in a rush, I'll pop the glue on my lash bed and then I'll curl my lashes and pop on some mascara, then put the lashes back on, because by the time I curl my lashes and pop some mascara on, it's time to put them on anyway. And then you wanna come up from above, pop them down, yes. And then you wanna get the ends. And then if you're finding that it's looking a little bit too like shallow in this area, just honestly pull it over, like just grab it and pop it over a little bit. Okay guys, so now that I've popped on my lashes, I also popped a little bit of liner just in the inner part to kind of meet up the lash band to my inner corner so it doesn't look kind of fucked. I'm going to use the Benefit Professional Pearl Primer and I'm just gonna pop this right where I need it, so my whole fucking face. You guys, this primer, I, I, I prefer it than the original Pearl Professional, if I'm being honest. I just find it smoothens things out so much better better. I don't know if it's like in my head and I just think it's revolutionary, but I really, really, really feel like it is. Okay, I apologize if my nose keeps on going red. Um, I'm having allergies at the moment, so I apologize. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Pro Glow. This has been my go-to as of recently. I don't know why because it still kind of creases on me a little bit. I don't know. It just, it looks good. So I've switched to this discolored as fuck Morphe sponge. <laughs> um, and the reason why I'm using this foundation is because one, it has really, really good coverage. So it looks great on camera, but two, because it also gives my skin a really, really nice natural glow. Now I kind of just realized on my way back as I was wetting my sponge, 
um, that this is a very, very, very full coverage foundation. So if you don't want to use this for every single day, you don't have to. You can just use whatever foundation you have at home. Don't feel like you need to go and buy another one because you really don't. But I'm just saying L'Oreal Pro Glow is fucking amazing if you're looking for another foundation. So once again, guys, you don't have to use concealer. You can use a really light coverage concealer. You can do whatever you want but she needs it today. So let me quickly update you guys on what's been going on. I announced my secret project that I've been working on for over a year now, which is my lash line. And I'm so freaking excited and nervous. The launch is this Saturday. So I don't know when you guys are gonna be seeing this, but the launch is the 3rd of March. I'm just using my finger just to kind of blend this out. That way I can use my beauty blender and shit's not gonna go in my eye. So I think you guys might even be watching this after the launch. So as of right now, the announcement just happened and everything is looking so good, everything is confirmed, everything's locked in. Now it's just about like kind of building up hype around the product, which already there was so much, like so, so, so many people were asking when they could buy them. And I was like, oh shit, I should have launched that. But things obviously weren't ready. <laughs> but you guys have been so excited and so just like anxious to get your hands on them. That makes me so excited. Just so you guys know as well, we are doing Afterpay for our Australian customers and we do have international shipping flat rate Got your back, girl. I'm just taking some RCMA no color powder from the lid. Okay, so my cheeks and forehead are still quite tacky, but I'm fine with that. I'm gonna go ahead and let that set and marinate a little bit. I'm gonna pop on my brows. Now, if you don't do your brows, you don't have to. You can just pop some brow gel in. If that's all you do, you can just leave them bare if you really want to, because like we're not going too, too dramatic on the eyes. So I'm taking the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number three, and I'm popping this through the front on my brow, which is like, my little secret trick, I always use a lighter brow pencil in the front of my brow because I want it to fade and I want it to ombre just so it doesn't look too, too harsh. I always feel so much more like myself when I have my brow on. I don't know why, like I feel like I just transform. I don't, I don't, I don't know. So now that we have our brows done, our skin has had time to kind of set and marinate a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Morphe Y1 brush. I'm gonna grab the same Anastasia bronzer in Saddle. I'm gonna dip in that a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of hug the cheek ever so slightly and warm up the face. Now, if you just wanna pop some blush on and call it a day, you can do that. Like I said, guys, all of these extra steps that I'm doing, you can either incorporate or you can just take inspiration from, you can just do whatever you want. I just wanna show you guys that wearing natural lashes can still make a big impact on your overall look, cause it definitely can. And if you're finding that your bronzer is skipping because you haven't set your cheeks, you can go ahead and set your cheeks down. Or you can even just grab like a pressed powder or your foundation brush, like your beauty blender, and just kind of dab over that and it will kind of soften it a little bit more. Okay, so now it's time for my favorite part of this entire makeup look. It is the glow. The Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amreezy highlighter. I have used this before. But like, this always just fucks with me because it is such a beautiful highlight. Like, I, that was, okay. Oh, fuck me dead. Pop some on my cupid's bow. Chin, bit on my nose as well. And guys, I didn't even fix plus my skin. Like I literally just powdered and then popped this straight on and like, mm, fuck. I'll pop whatever's left over on the brush on my forehead just to give a little bit more bam, you know? Now I am gonna leave the lower lash line completely bare. You can pop on some mascara, you can pop on some eyeliner, like some white in the waterline if you wanna look more awake, but I feel like it's gonna take away from the lash, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. For lips, I'm gonna go in with the brand new Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink um, Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Loyalist, and these smell Oh my god, this smells so good. I'm really hungry right now. I really need fucking food. This is my first impression. I've never worn it before. Oh fuck. Okay, I think it's a little light. Wow, that is so pigmented. And the formula is so smooth. I'm gonna grab some ColourPop um, and I Love Sada E Curvy Liner. Just around a little bit, just to make it look a little bit more natural. All right, I'm gonna try Chi by ColourPop. This usually is like my go-to because it's really, really cool tone. Oh yes, there we go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna grab a synthetic pencil brush. It's really, really important that when you're using lip colors that you use synthetic brushes if you are going to use any. And I'm just gonna kind of diffuse this 
and blend this in. And that, you guys, concludes this tutorial on how to use the Stephanie lashes. These are honestly so, so, so beautiful for a really natural, flirty look. I did design these lashes especially for smaller eyes. So if you do have trouble with your lashes making your eyes look a little bit more smaller and you want them to look more open, these are the lashes for you. My eyes look fucking huge right now and I'm kind of obsessed. If you guys want to see a full list of products, be sure to check down below. I will leave everything there. I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up, you will be able to shop my lashes. Line. So I'll leave my brand's Instagram and website down below. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one.